we put that finger on that pulse of what the audience wanted, it, we were just very fortunate that it was what we wanted too. They were definitely older than us, but it didn't feel like it. It felt like books by 13-year-old boys for 13-year-old boys. You know, I was like every kid of that generation that was reading comics. It was like the most exciting thing I'd ever seen. 11, 12 years old and all these other books I'd been reading had such, such history. This was something I can get in on the ground floor of. And I could be there from day one and that really excited me. They weren't going to work for the man every day. They were going to work for themselves and for their art. Even when they weren't perfect, which they often weren't, frankly, there was this level of energy, this unbridled enthusiasm to them. You know, and everybody was like, image is only going to last six months. Image is only going to last six months, but now it's the six months that lasted 20 years. In August of 1992, with six comics, we were the number two publisher. We jumped DC Comics, and there's 60 comics that still see it. And that's when people freaked out. You go back in time and you count, it was a matter of days. DC's killing Superman. It will be out in November. We broke Batman's back. We killed Superman. If you weren't there, you just don't get an idea. These guys were rock stars. It was like being the Beatles. We didn't call ourselves rock stars. It was put on us. You're rock stars. You're rock stars. You know, there was just a mob of people heading towards the counter at comic book store owner hoping the counter didn't break. And you were basically surrounded by people. I felt like my life was in peril. These were happening, so to speak, you know, most, you know, events. Stores closed because we've got a line of a thousand people ready for signed copies. I've never seen comic creators generate that kind of excitement, and I don't believe I will again. I, I do not believe it's possible.